be so good that they can't ignore you. So like work on your craft, 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 work on your craft every day, write every day, get feedback every day, work on your craft, work on your craft, work on your craft. Just become so good that when your material is ready to be submitted, that people can't ignore you because your work is that good. I do have one before I go. I have one piece of advice yes. that, that I would like to share with people, or the, the book, rather, that transformed the way that I thought about writing professionally versus being an amateur was Lawrence Block's Telling Lies for Fun and Profit. Of all the books I've read about writing, of all the experiences and all the courses I've taken, that was the single best book. And the way that it transformed my life as a writer was revolutionary. There was a chapter called Do It Anyway. And it was all about how you have to give yourself permission to write a bad first draft. Because the unwritten page isn't nearly as good. Like you can't work with nothing. So if you're not even willing to, to sit down and put bad ideas on paper, then you can't edit it and make it better. So there's a really great opportunity. Just do it. Give yourself permission to write a bad first draft. Or uh, Megan Gantz, who wrote for Community and Modern Family, called it a spit draft or a vomit draft. Give yourself an opportunity to write something terrible. Because at least when it's terrible, you can still fix it. But if it's not written at all, and you're watching Good Omens, or you're watching Veronica Mars, or you know House Hunters, you're not actually working on your craft. <laughs> 